He was a 2018 second round pick. In front, Benson wide open. Rich score. And finally, the Oiler rookies break through. Benson to Ryan McLeod. He got an extended look at Oilers' main cap before suiting up for the Mississauga Steelheads and Saginaw Spirit in the OHL this season. Ryan McLeod takes the feed and this game is tied 4-4. And now he has his first career professional game under his belt. In what Condor's head coach Jay Woodcroft called intense circumstances, Ryan McLeod made his American Hockey League debut in Game 2 of the Pacific Division Finals on Saturday. The 6'2 center was given more responsibility and ice time as the game wore on while also registering his first career HL assist. The Bear has roared again. Bakersfield's back hitting. It's 2-1. McLeod should pick up his first point as a pro. You know, we got, we lost by it to you know, Guelph. It was obviously a really strong team. And, uh, you know, I got the call the next day that I was coming up here, so I drove home and uh, I hopped on a plane and I uh, got in here and, you know, watched the first game or got to practice and then watched the first game and uh, it's been a great experience so far. Anytime a player coming out of the NCAA or coming out of major junior, as Ryan did, it's a huge step up when they get into professional hockey. Um, this is a man's league and teams and individuals make you earn every square inch of the ice surface. Um, and you're going against people who, whose livelihoods are on the line. Uh, so it's a little bit different type of intensity than it is when you're playing against 16 to 20 year olds in major junior. Uh, he's got great speed. His speed's something that uh, you know, he showed really well in Saginaw throughout the year. Um, you know, and his, his hands are also uh, something that uh, makes him decisive out there. You know, first shift I was like kind of a little bit uh, you know, starstruck or just kind of, you know, up to pace right away and then I kind of got into it and uh, my, felt, my feet felt good and, you know, I think I got a better as the game went on. Yeah, you know, he, he knows where to be. He's a smart player. Um, he knows where to be, you know, on the, on the goal, doing the little things, stick lift, getting the puck out, um, getting it up to the point he started that play. So I think, uh, you know, he really, really played well that game. I think he's big. I think he's fast. I think he has a really good stick that's able to disrupt uh, other teams' rehearsed retrievals. Um, he's a heck of a player for us, and I thought he showed extremely well under tense conditions in game number two. He's got a great mindset about him. He's really positive, very coachable. He takes in the information that uh, you're trying to relay to him. Now, identifying Ryan McLeod out on the ice isn't too difficult due to the uniqueness of his stick. McLeod uses what they call a snake pattern tape job on the shaft while he finishes it off with some white paint and some white tape. Now the centerman had a subtle response when asked for his reasons why. Because it looks cool. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. I just, uh, just preference. Yeah. Oh, I've been doing that for like 10 years now. So <laughs> everyone makes fun of me for it. But uh, a bunch of guys back in junior started spraying it. And, uh, you know, then I got on them for it. So it was good. While McLeod looks to continue to embrace his first experience in the professional ranks, his primary focus remains on winning hockey games. Well, he and the Condors will look for their first win of the second round series on Wednesday night in San Diego. Tony Brar, Oilers TV.